Hey, what's up? This is Kevin with Kevin's Barbecue Joints, and in this episode, I talked to Kevin Bloodsoe of Bloodsoe's Barbecue in Compton, California. So excited to talk to him. Talked to him in Texas. He's outdoors on his porch. You can see trees behind him. We get into his history. We get into how he started doing barbecue. We talk about that uh, Compton location, which is closed, but we talk all about that and how it was a beacon for Los Angeles barbecue. We talk about his La Brea location that is open now which is near Melrose and La Brea. We talk about his location, his blood zones that's in a casino in Australia, which is totally interesting to hear about. I really think you'll like it. Uh, he's forthcoming about everything, and just, just the nicest guy. I've known him for a long time, always been uh, super uh, cordial and, and, and welcoming, and he's just, I love Kevin, and uh, I think you'll, you will too after listening to this. If you do like it, we see, please subscribe. Enjoy. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Kev. So uh, you are uh, in Texas right now? Where are you at? Yes, Texas? sir. I am out here in the country. You want to see? I would love to. Oh, man. Got my baby right there. Just had a storm, so this deck is all messed up. So <laughs> I got to uh, blow it out today. Uh, so, uh, so so, where in Texas are you exactly? Or... Corsicana, Texas. Corsicana? Yeah, about 80 miles outside of Dallas. How far away is that from where you grew up? Uh, that's where I'm at. I'm, I'm in the same town that uh, from Corsicana where my granny was from. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Oh, oh that's... yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why. That's why I learned it all. That. <laughs> so yeah. So let's let's go, let's go back because a lot of people probably don't know your background. You uh, did you started out? Did you start? Did you have a restaurant at all in Texas, or did you cook for? No, my occasion? granny. My granny had a little stand when I was a kid, and uh, I would come out here and work with her every summer. From the time I was like eight years old, you know, okay, and uh, work with her in the summertime. So uh, that's where I learned how to, you know, learned all my barbecue secrets from her. And uh, by the time I was twelve, I was the only one that she trusted to cook her brisket, uh-huh. and uh, I could cook her brisket just like her at twelve years old. So you know, <laughs> that's a feat. I really enjoy- yeah, I really enjoyed the summers down here. So especially coming from uh, from L.A., you know. So 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 were you were you live were you born in L.A. I was born in L.A. Yeah, okay. I was born in L.A. and spent all my summers in uh, Corsicana in Texas. I see. Okay. Born, that... born and raised in Compton. So, <laughs> and then <laughs> what? What did you? Were you doing some catering when you turned 18, 19, 20? Is that what kind of started the whole business? Yeah. Well, when I was in college, I, I would cook in the dorms for folks. You know what I mean? And uh, and then what got me going when I was working for you know after I graduated when I was working for uh, corrections. Okay. And I would cater then. You know, barbecue for folks and. And all that, and uh, that's when I realized they was really digging on the queue, you know, early in the game. So, uh, you know, I kept always kept a smoker with me no matter where I lived, and you know, I always just honed on my skills. And uh, before you know it, like I say, the catering took off, and everybody was saying you need to get a restaurant, and that's how we got going, you know. What year was that when you started the restaurant? Oh uh, eight. Oh eight. Two thousand eight. The Compton location, yeah. And then, how quickly did people jump on and were interested in coming in? I mean, it was we within a year we was we was already being called some of the best barbecue around. I mean, you know, it was just right. It was the timing was perfect here because, you know, the foodie era was just starting. Yelp was just starting. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Food was getting big, and you know we had a product that everybody liked, and it, it was just perfect timing. You know, I think it, so. So then I wonder if it was two thousand eight or two thousand nine when I first came out there i, I think you might have been 2009 you might have been 2008 kev because you was early i just remember you were early <laughs> in the game and uh i know we had lost contact for for some years and i always wondered what you was doing but uh you was early in the game and you just came in and you were so straight up about everything yeah. you know what i mean the places that you've been so as soon as you walked in and gave me your you know i said oh this dude got street cred he's been to more barbecue <laughs> places than i have so and then, you know, I mean, like I said, you, you're you not what I like about you. You're not going to BS nobody on their food. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you'll say, you know, you had better, you had this or whatever. And I appreciate that. You well, know? And, and I was just, I was excited. It was definitely I, w- once I started hearing rumblings about you, I had to get out there. And I was just so excited. Yeah. And and you and you overly impressed me. And it was also I loved your setup, how you could eat yeah. you ate in that back line like that. That back oh, yeah. area, that was just, it was just yeah. a cool, it was a cool, cool vibe. And, and, yeah. I, and you were doing a lot of catering, right? Out of that restaurant? Oh, yeah. A lot of, like I said, the Compton location is missed tremendously right now. But, you know, like I said, a lot of politics involved with that and uh, a lot of stuff. Like I said, I just didn't want to, 
you know, I felt like the people didn't deserve it. And I don't want to really be caught up and I really don't want to go in depth about it. But no, no, no. I mean, I get mean. hits every single day about the Compton location, but uh, they trying to get me to do something down here. I, I said I might do something down here once a month, be a little destination. I'm trying to work it out. You know? That would be pretty, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> that would, yeah, sure. you, you get people coming out. You get definitely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just one. And I just say once a month because I don't want to be down here and. And before you know it, I'm working as hard as I was working when I was in L.A. So, you know, but uh, once a month, I, I can I can probably do something. You know, kind of like Snows. You know, Snows do it once a week. Hey. I said I might do it once a month out here. When, when I'm here, like I say, doing the, the downtime, you know, come from like January to August, I'm I'm moving around still a whole lot. But from from August to right now, it's pretty mellow for me. So, you know. Yeah, you're, you're so busy. So so when did when did Jason and the guys come over to you with the, with the, La Brea, with the idea for the La Brea location? Uh, it was about 2010. Um, I met Noah first. Noah was working for okay, LA Noah, Weekly yeah. and he did a story and, uh, the story went off real good. And, you know, Noah and, and big game James are and Jason and are, you know, they big time foodies, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. uh, they were just loving the food. And like I said, what I, I like anybody who goes to different barbecue restaurants, like you goes on the tour and really has had good barbecue. So you, you get know, a chance. Yeah, you, it's important. Yeah, because unless you had good barbecue, you can't compare our barbecue <laughs> Not to nothing. Not and enough. then that's the whole thing too. Like I said, everybody don't like our barbecue, you know. And but the whole thing is, you like what you like. And I always say, as long as you like good barbecue, I'm cool with it. Uh huh. I mean, not really like, I'm just saying, not everybody, I'm saying everybody has their preference. Of course. And I can't, yeah, I, yeah and I hate, to, I hate, hate it when people look down on people the, who like, or look down on the interest in a certain barbecue place when that yeah. could be their home barbecue spot or their style that they love. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. And, uh, and, 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 and that was it with them. So Jason and him came in and James and him, they had been all over and they just, uh, they fell in love with the barbecue. And, and like I say, it was a lot of people who wanted to, uh, to do work mm -hmm. with me. But like I said, uh, I mean, I was dealing with these, I'm not going to say their name, but these guys was big time. And, uh, but they said the wrong thing to me when they said, uh, yeah, man, you got a whole lot of years of work ahead of you. Oh. And I saw, nah, nah. And <laughs> what I like about James and Noah and Jason, they're younger, but they're hungry, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I would tell anybody I'm 52 years old. So, you know, I just want to be the overseer now. Well, and they had Golden State, Bar yeah, they oh, knew yeah, what they were doing, yeah. the restaurant tour. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, and they and they do good with it. Oh so, yeah, and they have a few more restaurants now, but uh, but like I say, Blood Souls is is uh, far in between the the number one in, in their restaurant. Oh, group, without so, a doubt, yeah. Yeah. And you do some special events there too now, right? Don't you? Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got one. That's what I'll be there in December, and we're gonna be planning something uh, soon, probably for uh, for March and uh, uh, I believe March, May. In July, we got some events coming up there, and those are with but, you, you know, there, the, which is nice. People get a chance yeah, to meet you. Yeah, we did you. the oxtails, and we did the we had the other one, and when we smoked the geese and the like the all different the fowls, right? All the different types yeah, of the meat. Fowl, yeah, the fowls, yeah, the feast all, of fowls or whatever. Feast yeah. of fowls, yes, exactly. Yeah, that one, that went over. That you didn't really make? Cool. Did you make that one? Kid? I couldn't. I couldn't make it. I was so depressed. I was so upset. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wanted so to. It went over good. So we we got a couple events coming up. I'll keep you up on them. And then, so, so then, how did how did the Australia? Can you tell us a little bit about the Australia connection? The Australia was almost the same way. The guy, uh, Peter, he's the vice president down there because uh, we're in the uh, Crown Resort Casino in uh, Australia, the biggest uh, Crown Resorts are the biggest thing in Austra in Melbourne and Sydney and Perth. And uh, so Peter wanted to co just cool, and when I say cool, I mean cool, just mellow. Had came out before and had the barbecue when he was in L.A. So uh -huh. he went back and. Barbecue's getting pretty big in Melbourne, so he was like, uh, told the president, uh, well, the president told him, hey, we need to, uh, I want a barbecue restaurant in the casino. And uh, so the guy was like, okay, I got a spot, you know, this and that, you know, outside of L.A. So the president was like, oh, no, nah, that's, I want something authentic, mm -hmm. you know. So Peter was like, okay, well, let's let's just go do the tour, and then we'll go by, we'll go to Compton, too. So they went and did the tour, Texas, uh, Memphis. Kansas City and the Carolinas. And, uh, you know, they had a couple of places that they liked. And then he said, okay, when they got ready to go, he said, we're going to fly to L.A. and go to Blood Souls. So he brought the guys and they came to Blood Souls and they ate the food and just fell in love. So the, he said, the president was like, why did you have me go to all these other spots? <laughs> he said, because you didn't know what your palate was, you know. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and like I said, I took that as a, a major, because like I said, I got a lot of places I respect, uh -huh. you know, legendary places oh, that's yeah. been open for 40, 50 years, you know. And uh, so they came in, they liked the food and, and everything else. Hey, we went out there, we trained the guys. They came out here and trained. And 
And right now they're doing great down there. You what know? do you? What food are you? What are you serving over at that location? Same thing. I mean, they got their own little menu. Uh, you know, French fries and all that stuff that they like out there. But we got everything we got there. We got brisket, shoulder, uh, ribs, links. You know, that was the hardest thing there was uh, the meat. Yeah, I think I, mean, I remember you telling we, me something about that. Yeah, remember I told you we did a whole hog one time, and it wasn't no damn fat on the hog. <laughs> you know, I said, damn, what y'all hogs do run marathons out here? So uh, the first few months, he was just finding the right butchers and the right people. I mean, the ribs were so skinny. No type of fat marbling, the brisket, no type of fat. So that was the biggest thing at first. And then the wood, you know, the wood. They have totally different woods than we have. So oh, we had to find the, the, the right uh, flavor profiles for the wood and all that. So we was over there uh, the first year about three or four times uh, that first year getting it together. But uh, they're doing real good now. They're exceeding the numbers that they, where they're supposed to be, and they're doing good. How many years has that been open now? Uh, it'll be two years, I think. It'll be two years this year. Either two or three. I'm not even sure. Okay, either two or three. I think it'll be. I think it's two this year. At least, yeah. I think it's at least two in my head. I don't. I don't yeah. I, yeah. I think it. I don't even had. I don't even had an anniversary no more. Huh. That's so. So, what was it like when they when they said we're, we want to open up a restaurant and a casino in Melbourne? What was that? What, what went through your head? Was that shocking? I mean, it, it was. I was like, how are you going to do it? But then I know. I mean, I just looked at Vegas. How they got, you know, had Salt Lake in Vegas and all that. Uh-huh. So I figured uh, it'll be something like that. But they opened up. Uh, I mean, the, I don't know if you looked at it online. The oh, space yeah. is beautiful, oh, man. It gorgeous. is a tremendous. I mean, we got two big old old hickory smokers back there on the inside. The smoke room is incredible. And uh, and like I said, uh, the product tastes totally different than here because of the wood. Mm-hmm. But it's still a it's 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 a hell of a product. You know, yeah. And then they come out here, but it's the it's the it's the same thing. They cook it exactly the same way, but it's just the wood. Oh yeah. You know, uh-huh. but the Americans come in and fall in love with it. You know, so. Well, and you know, it, we, that's great for tourism. That's great. It's just. It's, oh yeah. It's that's pretty. <laughs> that's just. Really... And they got a lot of uh, hip hop. They do a lot of concerts there, so. Uh, like little easy. Anytime somebody there from LA, they got to go buy blood cells and, and show some love. So you know, I think I've seen. That. I think I've seen some tweets from people just shocked. They're like, "Oh, I can't believe it!" <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It, 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 and it's doing. And barbecue is getting huge. In fact, I'm going and I'll be there for Super Bowl weekend because they have. I'm a special guest at the big barbecue festival that they have down there. But it's barbecue is getting huge over there, kid. Oh. You got to go, man. Oh, I, I have getting... to go. I'm actually, I'm, I'll be interviewing a couple guys. Do you know Jess Pryles, a uh, hardcore carnivore? She has, uh, uh, she's, she's based he... in, in Austin, but she, uh, she, okay. she, she, she set up the Australia Asian barbecue festival with some other people. She's a, okay. Okay. She lives in Austin, but she's a, but it, she, she was explaining too the whole Australia and New Zealand scene. It's giant. It's yeah, growing. Yeah, it's, they, I mean, they have huge uh, barbecue festivals and uh, it's pretty big over there. Kid. It's, it's real big over there. So. so, so, so what, so what's a day like for you now? Cause I know when you were in Compton, you were busy all the time. You were, yeah. well now, like I say, now we, we, you know, we got a couple of shows that we're working on. I got, I'm working on some things with, uh, with a couple of networks and stuff. Oh, and uh, just, you know, just like I said, this is the downtime now. You know, mm-hmm. I'm going to smoke a few turkeys for Thanksgiving and the family's coming up for Thanksgiving. I'm going to hang out with them. But mostly just, uh, you know, a lot of online things that we're working on. A lot of, uh, they're going to be filming some things right out here. You oh, know, really? I'm just sitting on the deck smoking and stuff like that. So, nice. you know, we got a lot of things in the mix. You know, we got a couple of meetings in Compton about, Eventually, what are we going to do there as far as coming back, you know, but... Uh, do you think that's something that could happen? Is that... I mean, it can happen, but like I said, it, it's, I'm just going to have to have to have the right people because I just don't have... Being from Compton, I would have to be there most of the uh-huh. time, and I don't have the energy right now to do it. You yeah. Know? I don't have the energy to go back in and start doing 100-hour work weeks again, you know, yeah, like yeah, I yeah. did when we... Uh, I mean, because like I said, when people come at me about opening up a restaurant or how'd you get started... That's what I tell them first. Well, if you're not willing to work 100 hours a week and, and you know, make sure you got the best product out there and, you know what I mean? Yeah, you have to be, o- be able great. to oversee it and you have to be able to be, you have to know, you have to know what it's like at 1 o'clock, you have to know what it's like at 10 o'clock, you have to know. Yes, to, yeah. yes. And if you don't have that, and because like I said, we had old hickories there too, and a lot of people get old hickory and think they're not supposed to work those pits. You still have to work those. Now, believe me, it takes a lot. It's a lot less than what you have to do on, on some of these old pits that I got. But you still have to. When I train a pit master, Kev, I train them first on the old pits. You know, just like DJing. Yeah, I DJ. You yeah, know, yeah. I used to DJ. But 
DJing is so easy now because they can do it computers. <laughs> but when I would train my son to DJ, I still train them on the old ones and twos on the turntable. Mm -hmm. Because when you learn on when you learn how to DJ on the turntables, or you learn how to smoke on the old barrels, uh -huh. you know, the old smokers, then you really can appreciate when you get your old hickory or something like that. When you, you know, have that really base, you have that solid foundation. Yeah. That you yeah. need. Cause sometimes electricity go out, uh -huh. you know. Yeah, yeah. And you gotta, you gotta, you know. I know some restaurants if something happened and uh, that old hickory not working, they can't open up. You <laughs> yeah, know, so you gotta, true. you gotta, you gotta know what to fall back on. So you know. Do you think that LA will ever allow offset smokers? What's that? You, uh, you know, like the like kind of like the, the barrel smokers. Do you think? Because right now you can't, you can't use an offset smoker in Los Angeles and LA County at least. Is that, I didn't even know that. I know we can use it in Compton. We had the offsets, remember, outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We just had a. Yeah, we had the we had the offsets out there, you know. Oh. <laughs> we had three of them out there. We had two old hickories and three offsets. Maybe because it's the wild wild west over there, or something. Probably so, maybe <laughs> so. But we we had we had them out there. So uh, uh, I'm not sure. I know. I, I think. Uh, I know. I thought I seen somebody in L.A. with it inside with the old uh, uh, smoker inside. I'm not sure. They were LA... trying. A lot of people, I think, are trying. They they want because that's that's something that Austin has, and that, even Austin had some issues at one point. They were trying to stop yeah. that city council was. Yeah. Or something. That's okay. crazy. Do you got? Do you go out to to eat at barbecue places around there at all? Or? Oh yeah, yeah. They got a couple of good ones out here uh, in Corsicana. Uh, smoking guns. Uh, uh, my boy Barry down here at uh, Brick Street, right at the end of the highway. But they got this little uh, uh, market gas station about uh, the Aggie store, about uh, five okay. minutes from me, right out here on two eighty seven. Little lady works in there. And I swear, she smoked some of the damn best ribs on Friday I ever tasted. And it's called the Aggie store. And I'm serious. Them some of the best ribs I have ever tasted. Okay. You know. And she just smokes on Friday. And she just smokes with, she got a, a big smoker out there. And they just smoke with uh, pecan wood. How long so has she, she been doing a, it? Uh, she said she been she smokes every Friday for about 10 years, I guess. You <laughs> good know? for her. And she got a good product. You know, real nice tender ribs. Because I went there before once and tried them. They was kind of tough. But like I said, I can eat a rib that's tough. And realize they might have been rushed, mm -hmm. but I can taste it and know where they was, know where they where they was going with it. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And uh, 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 so I went back again, and it was perfect. Yeah. You know, it was. I mean, just a real good, tender, smoked, good looking rib. So I, I tell her all the time, I'm real impressed. You know? <laughs> Does she I'm know serious. who? Does she know who you are at all? She found out, and that kind of kind of messed it up a little bit. Uh, <laughs> and she had seen me on TV on some. I said, "Was it America's Most Wanted?" And she said, "No," but she was scared to ask me. And she said, "I didn't want to ask because I don't. You, I don't want people. You know, they say everybody look alike." I said, nah. And she said, "That's." Me. I said, "Yeah, that was me." But since then, because I, I would go there like on, they got like a little fire thing in there, like a little fireplace, and uh, you can go in there on a cold day and drink your coffee and read your paper. I just like that life. That's you know? so, yeah, that's so that's the ideal. That's the perfect. You know life. what I mean? Uh -huh. You know, and just like today, uh, you know, I, I got a neighbor who's bringing me a brisket today to smoke for him tomorrow. And he was like, I don't want to. I said, man, bring it out. I, I mean, give me something to do. I'll yeah. smoke it. You know what I mean? So I'm going to smoke his. I've been doing the butcher paper thing, too, man. I done fell in love with the butcher paper. Oh, you know, really? all that's all the, you know, we, I'm a foil boy. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So I've been doing the peach butcher paper and, uh, Loving it. So uh, I'm going to smoke his brisk, get up early. I like getting up early and, and smoking. And uh, they're bringing uh, one of my pits are, is going to be put on a uh, trailer and they're bringing it down. Well, I'm going to bring it down here uh, first of the year. And I'd probably do a little catering on the side and stuff. And then, like I say, maybe do the, the once a month thing out here. You know? Okay. All right. Well, I, I oh, it's you know what? You've, you've always had a smile on your face and you're always uh, jovial. But it seems like there's like a sense of... I don't know, not relief, but like a a, a calmness to you that's different right it, now. It is, man. I am so calm now, man. I mean, and like I say, I'm, 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 people say, do you miss it? And I tell them, this damn fine. Okay, that's okay. I tell them all the time, I, I miss people, but I just don't miss the day to day. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And because, uh, like I said, it almost, I was, I got pretty sick, uh, you know, that September. And, that, and then, like I said, because, you know, we went through a lot of things with the, uh, with the city and not really, and I don't want to say the city, no. like, because the city always had my back, the mayor, all them had my back, but we just went through some things that we shouldn't have had to go through. Mm -hmm. And and maybe it was my fault that I didn't say nothing or blow the whistle at the time, but I just took it as, you know what, it's, it's just time to step back and, 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 and take a break. You know, you still love what you're doing, but, uh, it just Compton just became too much of a job. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And we paying for, and some and and, I, and don't get me wrong. The city has a bad rep. It's nowhere near as as bad as not at all. 
what people say. And you've been there, Kev, oh, yeah. but, you know, we done paid for so many damn funerals and caskets and all that shit. Stuff just gets overwhelming after a while. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I just wanted, to, and I had this property, and I just wanted to get away for a while. You know, uh, so you know. Did you did uh, did you build a home there, or did you already have a home there? No, we I had a home here for. I bought it about five years. Oh, well, uh, well, thank you for the time. I, I appreciate. It. I, I, I got to get here. a picture of you, kid. Okay, <laughs> when you coming out here, man? I, I'm hoping to come. I was hoping to come early December, but it'll probably be January. You're gonna be around in January. Just let me know when you're coming. I'll let you know. I know I'll be gone for a Super Bowl. That's February, though. Yeah, yeah. Probably around the end of January. But anytime you're coming down, just let me know. We'll hook up. I want to see you for sure. I, yeah, I, I miss you, and, and thank you for the time. And uh, gosh, it's so great to see you. You too, Kev. I'll see you soon. Man. All right, you take care, Kevin.